Hi there, good day you all. I am Satish Kumar here. Today I want to show how to do solid work cap and reduce scope. First, draw your part. I am going to sketch my part on the top plane. Now you will see all the lines are defined and black in black color. Now my sketch uh, I'm done with sketch. I'm going to scroll it. I'm just going to use uh, 15 mm. Part is ready. Let's begin solid work cam. Firstly, uh, click on the solid work cam, then define the machine. Uh, for machine, we want to uh, choose mill metric and make sure make sure it the uh, medium duty and two bit for post processor, posting setup, what it is, and till it is a revit test part. Okay. Now we are done using machine. Let's apply the coordinate system. Click on the coordinate system. The coordinate system is going to help uh, the solid work. How the machine is going to work? Uh, click the part coding box text and locate it, <coughs> and locate it uh, at the end point here. You can see the axes are not correct for me. I want uh, I want to put my x axis here and y axis here and and z axis put upwards. Make sure the z axis always posting upwards because uh, because the tool bit can work up and down. Uh, and click OK. Click the stock manager. Um, here you can uh, here you can choose whatever you want material you want. So now I'm going to use stainless steel. Uh, in stock type, uh, you can choose what you want. Choose this. For boundary, um, for boundary offset, uh, you uh, you can. Uh, can adding how much you want but I'm not going to add anything uh, and then other side thing click ok now next uh, click on setup and choose uh, my setup for my setup uh, 
make sure the uh, make the edges always in top plane and the arrow uh, arrows pointing downwards so the machine can work up and down then click ok now we have done all that now uh, click the click the extra machine features now you can see the two features uh, which is solidworks going to do now uh, click the generate uh, generate operation plan here you can see uh, the plan operation and, and the uh, tool which the solidworks going to use click the generate tool pad now you can see how the toolpad is going to work. Finally, we can simulate toolpad how it's going to work. Here you can adjust the speed limit. Um, you can choose or uh, whatever you want. Here. Yeah. Whatever you, uh, you can uh, choose whatever features you want. Then uh, click play. It will show how it's going to work. Now we can see the SolidWorks can uh, SolidWorks can is doing the work. Okay, now we can see the SOLIDWORK CAM done its work. Now click OK. Finally, to get the G code, uh, click on the post process and you can uh, save it anywhere. Now I want to save it as a G code. In desktop. Next, to generate the G, uh, G code, just click to, uh, just click play, and the G code is uh, appear. And make sure you always click the open G code file in, so uh, it can open the file. Uh, and then click OK. Now you can see the uh, G code here. So that's all for this video, thank you.